Namo Buddhaya. Welcome to another video. In today's video, let's talk about how to control our negative emotions and how to control our mind. Well, the nature of our mind is it always likes to wander in negative emotions and negative thoughts. Negative thoughts like anger, desire or lust or then jealousy, maybe resentment. These are the negative thoughts that our mind likes to wander in. So how can we control it? Well, our great teacher Supreme Buddha introduced us a gradual training where you can practice this controlling of negative emotions or negative thoughts in your mind. So without any further ado, I'm going to introduce them to you. So first and foremost, before getting into these steps, there is, there is one thing that you have to practice and there is one thing that you have to master and that is awareness. If you are not aware of what you are thinking, if you are not mindful about what you are thinking, then you cannot control it. So you have to totally understand and you have to totally be aware of what you are thinking. Okay? So whenever you find, when you, whenever you become aware of what you are thinking, then you will have that power to control it. So here comes the first step. Buddha says, whenever you become aware of your mind is wandering in negative thoughts like anger or lustful thoughts or, or resentment or jealousy, the first thing is to shift your thought pattern to something wholesome. There are some wholesome thoughts in your mind which makes you peaceful. Maybe like thinking of something that you have done in the past, like maybe you helped someone. Whenever you think that thought, your mind becomes happy and peaceful. So what you're going to do is, whenever you become aware of your negative thoughts, we're going to shift our thought pattern to something that is wholesome, something that makes us peaceful. So that is the first thing that Buddha says. Shift your thoughts to wholesome thoughts. If that first step did not work out, then what you have to do, go for the next step. What is that? Buddha says, think about the disadvantages of thinking negative emotions, right? If you are constantly having angry thoughts, then you have to think, these thoughts are hurting myself and others. If I take actions according to these thoughts, it will hurt myself and the others. Remember, it may be a little thought of anger, but if it grow up, what will happen? It will be destructive. So what do you have to do? Think about the drawbacks or disadvantages of thinking these negative thoughts. Then, whenever you see these disadvantages, your mind will tend to stay away from these negative thoughts. Most of the time, we are not aware of these disadvantages. Okay? So what do you have to do? Think. If I keep on thinking these negative thoughts, it will not going it is not going to help me it will disrupt my peacefulness right that is the second step then as the third step buddha says pay no mind pay no attention if the second step did not work out go for the third step to not to pay any attention to that thought right see whenever we give so much attention to something maybe a thought it grows again and again, it grows more, right? For an example, if you became angry with someone and if you keep thinking about him again and again and becoming angry, that anger will grow more and more. So what do you have to do? We have to let the thought be a thought without paying much attention, right? When you just stay away from giving attention, then it will fade away from your mind. It's something like this. Have you seen little babies, when they fall down, they start to cry, right? If the parent or, or, or the mother or father see that it is not a big deal of falling, if mother or father did not give any attention to that baby, what does he do? He just, he just don't care about that. He, he will stop crying. Same thing goes with our mind. If we did not pay any attention to that thought, right? If we did not care about that thought and just let it go and let it pass away from our mind, 
then it will fade away. That is one way of doing that. If the third step did not work for you, then the Buddha says, go for the fourth step to relax your thought process, right? Now remember, when you think negative thoughts, your mind becomes so much busy, so much rough and distracted. So what you're going to do is you're thinking, why am I thinking these distractive thoughts, these uh, negative thoughts that are making me so much busy and making me distracted, right? So what are you going to do is you're relaxing your thought process to something very soft and subtle, maybe like loving kindness, maybe like compassion, right? Maybe like gratefulness. When you think those thoughts, when you think more positive thoughts, your mind or your thought process becomes so much relaxed. And then if the fourth step did not work for you, then it comes the final step. This is something that we have to do with a great care. I do not recommend for everyone to do this. This should be done with a great experience and a good uh, practice, right? And that is to crush your thought with awareness, right? You have to be totally aware of your thinking pattern and have a good determination to your mind that I'm not going to think these negative thoughts, right? But this should not be done by everyone, right? Some may be not good at this, right? If you keep on becoming aware and if you keep on forcing this mind, it will grow more and more these negative thoughts. So if all those four steps did not work for you, then you have to go for the final step right so it is much better to practice these four thoughts before doing the final one okay so practice these things when you practice you will feel and you will understand that your negative emotions are fading away little by little remember this is not going to happen overnight it will take a long long time to do this but you have to keep on practicing keep on doing it make it a habit and then you will become a master of it so practice this practice and make your mind a place where free from negative thoughts namo buddhaya